Welcome to Daily CoinQ Crypto News. Here are today's headlines. Binance purposefully disregarded U.S. sanctions in order to support Iranian users. CoinFlex files a lawsuit to recover the missing $84 million. G20 regulators have called for new global cryptocurrency legislation. Grayscale Bitcoin ETF litigation could take two years. The world needs Bitcoin, says Changpeng Zhao. Now let's dive into the details. Binance purposefully disregarded U.S. sanctions in order to support Iranian users. On Twitter, CEO Changpeng Zhao reacted to the revelation, claiming that the exchange had utilized Thomson Reuters' world check data to screen consumers, essentially shifting responsibility and implying that the company's Know Your Customer mechanism had failed to successfully prevent Iranian users. After the U.S. reimposed sanctions on Iran in 2018, which prevented cryptocurrency exchanges from providing services to Iranian consumers, Reuters reported in an exclusive story on Monday that at least 18 people in the nation claimed to have traded cryptocurrency using BNB. Furthermore, senior staff members allegedly boasted on Telegram about Binance's success in Iran while being aware of the sanction skirting. CoinFlex files a lawsuit to recover the missing $84 million. The post does not name the person in issue, but CoinFlex co-founder Lam previously revealed it was Bitcoin Cash supporter Roger Ver. Ver, on the other hand, denied the charges and attacked CoinFlex, saying that the investment platform owed him money. The CoinFlex co-founders noted in the most recent update that a decision in the arbitration dispute might take up to 12 months. Nonetheless, they are confident about the outcome, highlighting the fact that the obligation in this instance is personal, giving the firm a significant advantage. Our lawyers believe that we have a very strong case and have commenced legal actions to recover debts owed to us pursuant to this agreement. His liability to pay is a personal liability, which means the individual is personally liable to pay the total amount. So our lawyers are very confident that we can enforce the award against him. G20 regulators have called for new global cryptocurrency legislation. On Monday, the Financial Stability Board advocated for new global regulations for cryptocurrencies and announced that it will present a report on regulatory and supervisory approaches to stablecoins and other crypto assets to the G20 finance ministers and central bank governors in October. Recent market turmoil was cited by the group of regulators, government officials, and central bankers as evidence of a risk to financial stability, emphasizing that the failure of a market player can quickly transmit risks to other parts of the ecosystem and have spillover effects into traditional finance. Grayscale Bitcoin ETF litigation could take two years. Asset management companies are still vying for a seat in the United States' first Bitcoin exchange-traded fund despite regulators' continued skepticism of the concept. Asset manager Grayscale's chief legal officer, Craig Sam, spoke about the company's legal dispute with the SEC over the transformation of the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust into a spot Bitcoin ETF. Sam responded to the most frequently asked questions about the litigation and laid out the foundation for Grayscale's defense of the SEC. The SEC's rejection of the spot Bitcoin ETF, in the legal officer's opinion, distinguishes between futures and spot trading for Bitcoin ETFs. The world needs Bitcoin, says Changpeng Zhao. For years, Zhao has supported BTC. In a 2021 interview with the Associated Press, Zhao stated that he bought BTC after selling his house in 2014. When the price of BTC fell from $600 to $200, not long after he made his purchase, he didn't sell his coins. The majority of the CEO of Binance's initial BTC stash is still present. However, the most well-known cryptocurrency has gone through several boom and bust cycles. Zhao said, To be honest, I think Bitcoin's dominance over time will decrease, not increase. It may increase in the short term. There are a lot of innovations people can bring back to BTC, like second layer solutions, etc. But when the technology is out already and adopted for 10 years, there's a relatively limited scope that you can update it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to the CoinQ channel to stay up to date on the latest news.